Twister Christian. Today I'm going to be discussing uh, the update of what's going on with Iraq and is this what's coming up going on in Iraq? Is, are these, these, is this what Kim Clement was saying about when things seem at their worst? It's a possibility. You know, plus I'm going to present uh, another theory. So I appreciate all you guys' support. Don't forget to like and share videos. Uh, share them uh, across social media. And I'd like to thank you guys for your support on the Patreon. The link is down below in the description if you want to continue to see uh, and support what I'm doing and what we're doing and trying to maintain or trying to achieve financial freedom uh, before the global reset. And also, you know, we watch for the global reset. We watch for the dinar. We watch investments. We watch the investments surrounding Kim Clement. So there's so many things that uh, that I try to do here. Okay, so now it just seems like what's going on there now with the unrest uh, is getting worse. And now you can see it's turning on Iran. And as I just look through the news and I just like, man, maybe, you know, with, with this, I think this what's happened here. As you guys can see the articles that I the the articles that are here, these this this thing is actually escalating. It's get it's getting to a point to where you know are they going to have to is somebody going to have to step in? Is there going to be elections? You know, and how soon? You know, or is this or are they demanding immediate change? And that's the whole thing because didn't that guy said, and I'm not going to repeat his name, but he said he gave, he was going to give them one year and he came through on what he said it was one year it's done it's over make change and make change now so it's just gonna be interesting to see who gets in there how it's gonna be done are they just gonna put somebody in there I don't know even know if they can even do that but so we we always have to keep watch because what, what if the dinar revaluation is part of the you know it's the last ditch effort of the central bank system trying to keep afloat like, look here, see, look what we're doing. We're, we're making change in the country. I don't know. It, it, it very well could be. I mean, you see how that they're trying to restrain the Thai bot. If the Thai bot is actually worth more than what it is, then that's what that's where it should be. And maybe they'd be able to say, look, the system does work because now we're trying to make changes to the system. Are they going to try to, is the, is the, the central banking system going to try to beat the global reset to the punch, so to speak? But we all know who controls it all. It's God number one controls it all. There's a, there's a set time. There is a set time for that. And whenever that happens, it will happen. You know, maybe this is the sudden change. Right? Sudden change. Sudden change, not just with the dinar, but also with the government itself over there. And there's, you know, there's some other news out there that's, that's pretty disturbing. Uh, you know, where it's... The protesters might get involved with their controlling neighbor and we'll see how all that works out hopefully there's no more unrest and they can get these issues resolved the the people right now are relentless and they're pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and maybe to them that when things seem at their worst it may not have to do necessary with the global economic system or the system crashing? What if it's something that it is that is different from everything else? Or is it just all going to move together? And so this all remains to be seen. Let's keep a watch and see what's going on uh, and, and keep a watch of what's going on out there. And uh, let's hope that people stay safe. Uh, we'll see what the government and see how the prime minister role is dealt with. And with that being said, Twisted Christian out.